air temperature temperature is a measure of how hot a thing is when we talk about temperature of a place we talk about how hot the air in that area is that largely depends on how much sunlight the place receives you know it's cooler in the morning and evening and hotter in the afternoon why is that so it's the angle of the sun that makes a difference in the morning and evening the sun is at a great angle you know that because your shadow is quite long in the afternoon the sun is overhead you know that because your shadow is very small so even in the same place the temperature changes at different times of the day in the same way the rays of the sun hit the places near the equator straight so it's quite hot in places that are near the equator as we go towards the poles the rays of the sun hit the land at an angle so it's cooler in places towards the poles what is the distance from the equator it is latitude we can say that temperature depends on latitude when we measure temperature we measure how warm the air is we know that the heat comes from the sun but how does the air become warm in the first place you know that the energy from the sun comes to the earth through space it travels as radiation you have already studied about how heat travels through conduction convection and radiation well when it comes as radiation it hits the land and warms up the land first the air that touches the land gets warmed up and rises then cooler air from the surroundings comes in place of this hot air then that air warms up and rises that is how the air gets heated it gets heated layer by layer so as we go higher and higher in the atmosphere the temperature decreases why is that because the air is getting heated from the land below not the sun above remember this now that is why how high a place is above the base land also affects temperature how is the level of base land calculated it is measured as distance above sea level the level of the sea all over the world is considered to be zero how high the land is from that level is measured this is also called altitude altitude is height above sea level how high a place is above the sea is called altitude higher the altitude lower is the temperature now you know why that is why though mount kilimanjaro is close to the equator it is covered with snow how close a place is from the sea also makes a difference here is why have you gone to the beach on a hot afternoon the sand is terribly hot but the water is quite cool 
Why does this happen? That is because water heats up slowly and land heats up fast. So, in the day, the sand and the land around it is hot and the water in the sea is cool. What happens at night? The water cools down slowly and the land cools down fast. So, the water is warm and the sand and the surrounding land cold. So, overall, water changes its temperature much slower than land. Places near the sea are near a lot of water. The water doesn't change its temperature too fast. So, these places have a milder and more equable temperature most of the year. So, a place near the sea will not get too hot or too cold as compared to a place at the same altitude and latitude but far away from the sea. Insulation We know that the earth receives all of its energy from the sun. How much of this energy the earth traps is called insulation. Insulation is the incoming solar energy intercepted by the earth. Here is something interesting. Concrete buildings also absorb heat in the day and then let it out at night. There are more concrete buildings in the cities. In fact, even the asphalt roads in the city make the city warmer. There are more trees in the villages which make those areas cooler. That is why cities usually have higher temperatures than villages. That is why people like to go to nearby village areas to cool off. Temperatures in the same place even change according to seasons. That is again because of the angle of the sun rays hitting the earth. It's because of the way the earth rotates and revolves. It's very interesting and you learn about that when you are a little older. So, you have an idea about why places on earth have such varied temperatures and have daily and seasonal changes too. Think and discuss. How does distance from the equator affect temperature? How does height above sea level affect temperature? What is insulation? State three reasons why cities are hotter than villages.